guys welcome back to our channel as usual we are the get keepers we are here to bring you football analysis and predictions and we are full of energy today and we are about to smash some people here so what's your name i'm emoli edwin edwin and i'm dennis tito and me hey, who are introduce you? me but introduce yourself <laughs> <man>. <laughs> i'm frankie Yes, guys, and today we are here to give you analysis on the last group stage matches of the UEFA Champions League. So straight up, let's do a straight up shoot. Or oh, before we start this, uh, just a reminder: uh, yesterday night there was an EPL match between uh, Arsenal and Everton. Frankie, how did it end? Let me just tell you guys: this this guy had to just make us remember the, the match. We did not see that match. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just it's just. <laughs> how did the match go? <laughs> you all know Arsenal. What can I say? You all know Arsenal. Anyway, yeah. tell them. Yeah, Arsenal did their thing. Uh, <laughs> they did that <laughs> at their best moment <laughs> at the 90th minute. But I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they were beaten, guys. Yeah. Two one by clearly, him. clearly, Arsenal, yes, guys. These Manchester United fans today are on your neck. Here, guys. So guys, yeah, the my gray did that thing in the 90th minute. Decided to ban the school of asset the Gunas. So the match ended the two one in favor of Everton. And uh, the dream of Arsenal to to finish on top of Manchester in game 15 did come to. <laughs> I'm to sorry, guys. Next is us, Chelsea. Straight up. We are coming for you. To end up game of PSG. So next <laughs> Champions game, League. Champions League. PSG will be inviting Club Brugge. Uh, ha! Straight up fact. Messi back. I don't know whether Ramos today will play because we were we were hyped in the last game that he was going to make a debut, but he didn't. So I don't know about today. So Pogba, yep. what are your thoughts in this game? Well, the first leg uh, went to a 1-1 one -one draw. Uh, I expect PSG now that they have not uh, won any match away from home. I expect them to win this game. Not unless they decide to surprise me, but I'll give it a 2-1 win in favor of PSG. But expect, expect surprises. It, may, it might be a draw, but I'll go for 2-1. Frankie, do you think it's going to end the same way it ended while uh, PSG visited the Club Rouge? Uh, as a matter of fact, as I was saying, as as, say as it is, say as now. it is, even if PSG and Messi win this game, they will still be number two, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I know uh, they are trying very much hard to become the number one so that they do not get by and Munich in the knockout stages. This is the last but, game. But it's a promise from Lewandowski and Mola. <laughs> That uh, we are going to ban them. <laughs> so uh, I, uh, they will win this game, yeah. the two, uh, one, uh, one nil. But uh, it's very tough. They have to avoid yeah. being number two, right? No, they will still be number two, oh. so that they will get. Man City is going to thrash. Already, Man City has already qualified. Yeah, they are leading that group. Yeah. Sorry, but so how, how many goals? One nil. One nil. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Also, if you ask me, I think tonight. Uh, PSG are not going to lose this, so they are still good. they are going to win by three goals to nil. It's going to be a clean sheet, though a very interesting game. So straight up, the other match will be uh, RB Leipzig. Uh, they will be welcoming uh, the citizens who are Manchester City uh, at their home <coughs> turf. So let me hear from Frankie. Frankie, okay, you... for this game, uh, it will be goal goal somewhere. Uh, at the beginning, it's still to Man City. Uh, a 3 2 over Leipzig. I'll give it to Leipzig because I feel like Man City will be. Now that they've already qualified, they'll do rotation uh, like they are known, but this time around, I'll be. Leipzig will be. They won't want to disappoint their home fans, so I'll give it to Leipzig 2 1 win in favor of, Man, in favor of Leipzig over Man City. Do you think the Cuckoo will score? Um, I feel like, yeah. Nkuku, my guy. What about you, Dino? Nkuku has been on form, or so, yeah. Nkuku, Nkuku. Yeah. This game, this game, <laughs> this game, in game in normal, I see. It's no joke. So basically, for me, if you ask me, uh, Pep, I've been favoring Pep in the Champions League, preferably when he had Mahrez starts. Mahrez has a good form uh, in the Champions League, and uh, trust you me, uh, tonight is not going to be an extraordinary night for them. 
they are still going to win. Remember, they are coming from winning after defeating PSG in in that uh, in that in the game which they played and they won by how many goals? Two one, right? Two one. Yeah. So tonight they are going also to win by let's say three goals to one. Yes. So uh, next match, FC Porto uh, against Atletico Madrid. <coughs> guys, guys, this is a very very tricky and interesting group because uh, three teams are tied have tied with, I think, four points. So the only team which has qualified is Liverpool, AC Milan, and FC Porto, and Atletico Madrid. They have tied in points, and they all want, they all must win if either of them wants to qualify. So to start us with the first match, Porto versus Atletico Madrid. Atletico, if they lose, they go back to, uh, to Europa. Same to Porto. So I don't know. Frankie, what do you think? Hey, this one will be a tight match. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of FC Porto when they're at home. And uh, also Atletico, their energy is not being shown very much clearly in this Champions League thing. And uh, for that, as, as a matter of fact, I think uh, it will be another draw and maybe Atletico Madrid may find themselves in the, in the Europa. Definitely. Okay, for me, I feel the same. It, it's going to be a spoiler because nobody will be willing to go down the rule you score you go back to defend your territory they'll also do the same so finding space between the other ones or between every player will be hard so it will be a spoiler one 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 hey, this is a good one so i don't know this is tricky Porto being at home with all the stakes at hand atletico madrid coming to this game knowing that it's a must win for them it's tricky I think hell will break loose tonight and we are about to experience some extraordinary football here. So I feel that tonight is the night where Simeon is going to unleash the real Atletico Madrid on these guys. Tonight is the night whereby Suarez will be coming on board and scoring that winner goal. So I'm giving it to Atletico. I don't want to believe that Atletico are going back to Europa at this stage. So after that match, another month for Tarim game between AC Milan. Uh, they will be at San Siro, right? Yeah. Welcoming Liverpool, the Reds, Frankie. Or let me start with the Pogba this time. Okay, now that they are tying on points, as Milan is... Uh, as Milan, time, Atletico and Porto, they are tying, time. yes. So Liverpool expect... Uh, I know Liverpool right now, they are good, but expect a tough match for you because these people will be at, will be at home. They're in front of their own fans, they know how the table looks like, so they won't give Liverpool an easy time. This match will might end in 2 nil. I know it sounds crazy, but I'll give a 2 nil in favor of AC Milan. It can happen in the world of football. Very true, yeah. Frankie. Yeah, it can, ha- it can happen and usually happen, and uh, it has already happened one, one time long time ago. Uh, it's a classic match, AC Milan versus Liverpool. Classic European match. Does it classic. take you back to 2005? Yes, very much. That's what I'm going to say. You see, uh, AC Milan has the, the has the ability to stop these guys also. Uh, but it won't be easy for the, for the Milan team. Uh, I'll be giving it a, a win for AC Milan. Uh, it will be like a revenge game. For their players, uh, since they got beaten at Anfield by by three goals to two. Is Zlatan back? Yeah, Zlatan is back and already given another contract. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So I'll be giving it to AC. Thank yes. you. Yeah. So guys, <coughs> Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. How many times have I called your name, Liverpool? Three, three, three steps. So tonight is a different night. Tonight is a very interesting night. Tonight they are been dying. I know, <laughs> I know it's going to be a rotation for Pep. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he will be resting most of his players because already he has 15 points. He yeah, has qualified. qualified. So whatever happens, he has still qualified as a number one. So tonight's match for them is just a formality and just to flex and to test his new players or the players who have not been playing. Testing the waters? Uh, Against Zlatan? <laughs> no, not, no, I would say testing water because really he has already defeated AC Milan and already he has gotten the maximum points to qualify to the round of 16. Mm-hmm. So for him it will be just having fun and just to try his other players who have not been playing. Mm-hmm. Been playing. So this is the night of Takumi, this is the night of Curtis Jones, this is the night of Origi. Siniscas, this is the night of Origi. 
name them. So tonight is the night we will be seeing a, uh, the next generation of Liverpool, which will be playing after people like Salah and Mane are off for the AFCON in January. So, but having said that, AC Milan have everything to lose in tonight's match. Hence, they will be coming guns blazing and wanting to revenge, as Frankie just said. So with that in mind, it's going to be an attacking game from start to end. So the issue will be, who will be good at the defense? Ukikambaya, wanapita na we? Wanapita na we, we. Kama lori ya viazi, sindio? Kama gari ya mira. Kama gari ya mira. <laughs> so, itabidi watu wakai bump up kwa hii game. And uh, having said that, I think I'm going for a draw. So Liverpool, what a draw leo. Wakiwa uh, we, what a draw na AC Milan at San Siro. So that's very our, interesting match. That, that's our Mzungu. That's very interesting match, guys. Mm-hmm. So let's 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 see how it goes. Another interesting. The match German man has come. spoken. Introduce us to the German game because tonight will be in Germany. The the what's the nickname of Borussia? Uh, the BVB. The BVB. The BVB will be at home. Yellow and black. Against black and yellow. Besiktas. Well, the BVB have they have not been impressive this time round. I don't know if they are going to Europa League with Barcelona there, but anyway, yeah, tonight they'll be at home against Besiktas and. Uh, I think I'll give I'll give it to Borussia Dortmund. Now that their main guy, our young boy from Norway, this guy is called uh, Haaland. Yeah, Haaland. Haaland is back. I think they they will win with this one, but I don't think if it will be enough to save them. Yeah, it's it's quite a sad moment for me, especially I'm their secret admirer, but for once, we're many disappoint too, Sana. <coughs> they have already lost. They have already. Uh, they are not they. They are already, already out of contention for mm. round of 16. So they were eliminated. So they are just contesting for the spot of uh, Europa. Mm. But either way, having said that, it's just a match of bragging rights because both them and both the Dortmund and the Sixers have been eliminated. So it's just a bragging right game. And it, it being a bragging right, I think I would still favor Dortmund to win it. Definitely. Three goals to one. Still to Frank, be, yeah, it's a sad situation to see Haaland out of the Champions League, man. He's the best man, you know him, and uh, it doesn't add up sometimes to see like such big teams going to the Europa. This time Europa will be so much interesting. Yeah. I'm seeing Atletico, I'm seeing Barcelona, I'm seeing... It's funny, United is not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for that case I'll be giving, I'll be giving a win for DVB, uh, but I'm, I'm sad and just like, you know, I miss Haaland. I love Haaland. He was Mr. Champions League last season. Yeah. But this season, clearly, there's somebody, there's a new boy in town. He's called oh, Sebastian Hala. Who is going to play against Sporting Lisbon? Hala versus Sporting CP. Yeah. Another great <coughs> game. Before we introduce this game, let me say that I'm, I'm a little bit surprised with Sporting CP. I didn't expect them to be the ones qualifying in the round of 16 in this match. Wait, yeah. they've course. qualified. Yeah. They've already qualified. This is another formality match, or it's just a formality again. Now, when we have a team like this qualifying, which, it means there's a, a bigger club somewhere down. There's a, uh, which club is it? What do you mean? It's Borussia. It's Bo- Do- Dortmund, yes. Oh, they're in the same group. Dortmund, Besiktas, Ajax, and Sporting CP, they were in the same group. So, so I, Dortmund and Besiktas mm-hmm. eliminated. So I knew. Ajax and CP, Dani, Dani, Dani. Yeah. It's so, Borussia who, whose place has been taken by Apparently, the Ajax have won almost all their games, right? They have won every game. Every game. Those people are... With a maximum of three goals and above. And above. Yeah. And Haaland, Haaland has, has uh, like nine goals. Nine goals. Yeah. It has never been done, guys. I think he's the first player to score such a number Our of goals. African number one. In the Haaland. From where, by the way? Uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Man, man, man. The land of heroes. He chose heroes. to play for Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. So uh, for me, if you ask me, let me start it. I'm going to give Ajax still 3-1. You're joking me? 4-1 in favor of Ajax. Hey, man. Haaland, 3 nil. 3 nil. Yeah, in favor of Ajax. Hmm. Is... Guys, there you have it. Haaland will score. In fact, he's in my fantasy squad in the Champions League. In the League. Champions League. I think I'm wondering whether I should captain him. Yep, he might score a brace today. What about if you captain Haaland? What about, what about Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo? No. Why are you losing points? Anyway, Cristiano is also. But now you see. Why are you not faithful? You see, I'm torn. In, I'm torn in between. Am I captaining Hala because he's in my team, or am I captaining uh, Cristiano? 
no, I don't have Christiana in my team. Okay, or, or, or am I captaining uh, Lewandowski? Hey. Or am I captaining Haaland? You see, he, you see, no, he, he has a match. Yeah, he has, but so, uh, he has a match. So, so I don't know. Ancestors. Mm-hmm. Who are you captaining by the in your team? <laughs> Cristiano. Cristiano. Yeah. Who? Cristiano. Cristiano, guys. Huh? It's okay, guys. <laughs> For our fantasy Premier League fans, uh, UEFA Champions League fans, there you have it. I think I'll captain Hala tonight and see how it goes. Yeah? You will flop. So, make next. sure your team has Hala, Lewandowski, and, and Cristiano. Yeah. If you have the money. And also, if you have cash, introduce uh, Nkuku there. Nkuku. He's, uh, Nkunku. He's a great differential, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a great differential. Who are you going for for the keeper? Uh, for the keeper, personally, I'll be giving it. I have the gear. You have the gear. Who's your keeper? Yeah, the gear. He's going to. No. No, no, no. I think it's Donnarumma. Donnarumma is your keeper. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think my keeper is Mendy. Hopefully, he's going to. Tomorrow yeah. and then uh, he will give me a clean sheet. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, but it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. The next match uh, is a match in in a group which already two teams have qualified and again, as I say, it's a, just a formality match. Real Madrid will come in Milan. Yeah. At Banabu. Yeah. Pogba. Real all the way. Now that uh, Benzema is Benzema, Benzema is Benzema, so I'll give Real Madrid two goals. Frank, do you think uh, Inter Milan are going to allow themselves to lose? No. Uh, I think it will be very much tough. The group is still open. Huh? Yeah, the no. group is still open. It's not open. It's not open. It's not. I Can think have Inter- for the number two. For the number two position is still open. Just for number two. Bones. And Sheriff is also there. No. Have, uh, Sheriff Sh- has six points. Sheriff has six points. They have been eliminated. Yeah. Oh, Shakhtar. I remember, I remember Inter qualified. Yes. Sorry. So for this game, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'll just uh, I'll give it a draw, one one. <laughs> one, one. Uh, one. Okay. <clears throat> Advantage for the home team. Real started badly. You remember what Sherry did to them, but they made a comeback by actually uh, redeeming themselves. Inter Milan also started well by breaking the curse of Sheriff. They are the first team who actually thrashed them. And uh, Shakhtar Donetsk have been crazy and uh, they have not been as per my expectation, but it is what it is. So this match between Real and Inter, let me give it a 2-2 draw. It's going to be a very great game. So next game, Shakhtar Donetsk versus Frank, Frank's team, Sheriff. It's not my <laughs> the, the team is brilliant also. So they are fighting for the European sport. Yeah, right? yes, the, the European sport. Shakhtar Donetsk, Sheriff. How many points does Shakhtar? I'll, I think I think Sheriff will win this game. Sheriff has six points. I'll just give it to Sheriff. Shakhtar is the last in that game. Yes, yeah. yes. I'll give it to Sheriff. Yeah, I'll give it to my main team, Sheriff. Here. Are we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll Don't give it to you. To them. The reason being is that the, the, it's the first time playing the European uh, football mm-hmm. and they want not to let go any chance. Definitely. So if they if if they have the chance to play also in Europa, they will do that. Mm-hmm. So they will do their best just to win this game and uh, at least make the redeem themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pogba, do you share the same? Yep, I go with Sheriff winning this game. Two goals, two nil. Mm-hmm. Okay. As for me, if you ask me, I'm going for Shakhtar. I'm going to be for the two. I feel like Shakhtar has been losing a lot, and uh, tonight, since they will be at their home, tough. Uh, it's time the, their fans just deserve this one victory, even though it's not taking them anywhere. But they just deserve one this last victory, and I believe they are going to give them that. Because it's not to say that Shakhtar is a bad team. It's only that this was not their season to thrive in in the Champions League. Mm-hmm. So having said that, I fancy Shakhtar Donetsk to win by two goals. To work. So guys, that was our analysis on UEFA Champions League today. Tomorrow we will be having another episode for other matches. I want them to stay tuned because tomorrow we are here exclusively. Bayern against Barcelona, Atalanta versus Villarreal. These matches, I don't want to talk. It will be more important. Zenit also will be inviting Chelsea. So it will be a great game. It are you looking funny. forward to which match are you looking forward to tomorrow? Of course, Manchester <laughs> United versus, versus uh, young, young boys. boys and Bayern Munich versus Barcelona. Yeah, I think before we go, I think uh, young boys and Barcelona they share one thing in common. What? They're going to carry goals at home. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, you promised them that. I'm, I'm hearing the young boys are, are still crying. <laughs> what about to... Barcelona? Barcelona, they are. <laughs> 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 
Guys, I think in history, I don't remember the last time I saw or witnessed Barcelona playing in the Europa Champions League. <laughs> I don't know whether tomorrow will be that day where they will be ushered and welcomed to the Europa Champions League. So, Poor just partner. as we've told you, mm-hmm. stay tuned, tomorrow. just tune in, mm-hmm. wait for us tomorrow. We'll I can't be wait. giving you our strict, straight up thoughts mm-hmm. on what we'll be thinking. Thank already, you. as you can see from Frankie and Pogba, they are already excited about Barcelona. I fear for Barcelona and so, their boys. I okay, know. for me, I'm just translating what Thomas Muller and Lord mm, was saying. They are coming for Barca. <laughs> And Manchester United, they're going for it. Okay, young boys, please, I fear for you. They are saying that uh, they don't have enough they, diapers to yeah, come to the draft. Yeah, they don't want to play. So guys, <laughs> as, as we end, as we end, as we end, uh, mm-hmm. uh, as usual, guys, last season in game week 15, Manchester United were leading. In game week 17, Man City overtook them. Same script is happening this season. So my question to Frankie and Paul, but do you think the same script is going to uphold or it's a different season with different teams having up to their game in terms of currently Man City managed to overturn Chelsea's number one over the table. At the end of game 15, Man City are now number one, followed by Liverpool, then Chelsea, a difference of 1-1 one, one point. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think the same script is going to uphold? When Pep takes number one spot, he always runs away with it, or it it's a different be, season? Yeah, for this I'll say just, I'll just be honest, it will be difficult for any club now to take down uh, Man City from that position. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, I'll also be honest, Man City will be there, there to stay, and I'd rather have them stay there than either Liverpool or Chelsea. Yes, for me, all I can tell you guys, Stay tuned. This is Premier League. I'm sure you are, a, you are about to say it's football. It's a, it's a season. It's a season. It's That's a season cool. of uh, surprises, and it's one of the best seasons in EPL, whereby we have great coaches, great players, and great f- fans are back in the field. And we have the great Arsenal. So yeah, who so, are in top four? Guys, guys, we are done. We can't be finishing this <laughs> thing while we are starting. Please end that thing, Frankie.